Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this is a clothing what sold last week. Bolo, kind of bolo. Some of them are bolos video. Um, I don't know. I don't source for clothes anymore unless I'm like at a garage sale or something. But um, I was a full-time reseller selling only retail arbitrage clothing for a very, very long time. So this video is for people looking for clothing items to source. Um, most of my items now are hard goods, vintage, items like that. Like I have moved on from clothing, but I still have a store full of clothing. So this is a what sold in my eBay store last week. So uh, if you're new to the channel, I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And if you're new to the channel and want to branch out for thing to things other than clothing, my YouTube channel is packed with bolo items, items to be on the lookout for. Like this garage sale flips $200 into almost $5,000 what sold. So those are some really cool finds. So I encourage you to definitely branch out if you're not selling things other than clothing. Um, but I have tons of videos like shoes to look for, Easter items to look for. Toddler dresses are a huge bolo. I have a couple videos that explain that. Halloween bolos, estate sales, what to look for at estate sales in the kitchen, in the bathroom. So definitely go over and check out my other videos on my YouTube channel. All right, let's get started with what sold in my eBay store last week, clothing items. Here we go. All right, so I sold these Lane Bryant plus size pants and I took a best offer of $10 on these and the buyer paid shipping. I have 30 of these available, you guys. So if anybody's interested, they're super cute, they're linen. The link to my uh, store is down below. Just make me an offer for 10 bucks and I will be happy to take that. And in the notes, put Bolo Buddies so that I know you're a subscriber and that you watch the video. I always like to uh, shout it out when a subscriber buys something and it really makes my day. The next item, these Cacique Brawls. I love selling plus size brawls. One of my favorite things to sell. I'm getting out of clothes, but you will not see me getting out of selling brawls because I love selling brawls. They're easy to list. I love doing quantity listings. and. Um, yeah, so uh, I've sold 24 of these. These are new without tags. I have a bunch left. These are the sizes I have left. And you can see here, some of the cups are out of sizes or out of stock, but I have tons of Cacique Brawls, different styles, different um, sizes. Go check out my store, links down below. And yeah, I sold that for $19.80 and the buyer paid shipping. Catherine's Brawls. I also have a bunch of Catherine's Brawls. And this one sold for $21.12 and the buyer paid shipping. Now, this is a Parfait by Offentoss Baby Doll and they are in UK sizes. And I have a conversion chart right down here in the description, which helps people determine which size they are USA size based on the size of the listing. So I just put UK sizes. I have sold 43 of these, uh, sold for $9.71. A lot of these are like 34E, you know what I mean? They're like bigger cup sizes, smaller bands. I have a lot of this brand in my store. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. Let me make sure that I am on, yes, I wanted to make sure I was screen sharing. <laughs> ah, I've done that before where I forgot to uh, screen share. Now these Cacique Wickham's, uh, I don't think I told you guys what I paid for anything. Did I forget? Paid like three bucks, five dollars, five dollars, three dollars, approximately. And this, uh, I want to say I have less than a buck in this. And what these are, it's a bra liner. So it goes underneath your bra. So like if you're sweating, it absorbs that sweat and it doesn't go into your bra. They're kind of cool. Um, I have 33 left. Now the bigger that the, the cup size is for the F and the GH, 
those sold out super fast. The C cups for some reason are a little harder to sell. The, I think the other size is like D slash triple D. Those went really quick also, and I didn't get as many. So um, I have sold these on other platforms. So it's a it's a good good item for all platforms. But I am selling these for, I took a best offer of $6 on this. And again, less than a buck. It's a bread and butter item. Uh, buyer pays shipping. So yeah, it retails for 20 the next item are these express joggers. They do run a little big. I took a offer of $18.25 and the buyer paid shipping. This is an older listing. I bought probably, oh my gosh, I don't even know how many pairs of these, over 50. Uh, but yeah, I've sold a bunch. The next item, oh my gosh, this item was so stale. Oh, you know how you have those items? Well, most of you like do inventory and get rid of stuff. I don't because everything eventually sells and I don't have time to do it. But I took a best offer of $8.99 for these. I believe I paid a buck for these at a discount store. And I was so excited to just get them out of my house. And I made a profit, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Cacique baby doll. Again, I bought a bunch of these. I've sold 13. I have three left. I think the only size I have left is the 44 double D. Um, sold this for $16 and 72 cents and the buyer paid shipping and it is a two piece set. The next item are these express jeans. I have about $3 in these. Now the problem with these were they're size zero, but the waist measured 32 inches and that is bigger than a size zero. So I went ahead and took a best offer on these for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. And I just put that the item is defective, see details, and they still sold. It took a little longer, but they still sold. This Romeo and Juliet dress, super, super, super old listing, had it a long time. Um, again, I, I just leave things listed. I think I paid $3 for this at a discount store. I don't know why it didn't sell because it's a super cute dress. And I did sell it for $15.84 plus shipping. And so I made a great profit still. Paid like three bucks for it, I think. And yeah, I mean, not a great profit, but bread and butter, it's good. The next item are these Express Jeans. I've sold four, four pair of these. I did take a best offer on this pair for $22. Discount store, three bucks. Express Sailor Pants. I sold these for $28.60 and the buyer paid the shipping and i got them for about three bucks lane bryant um i purchased these online retail arbitrage i sold them for 24 dollars 20 i had probably seven or eight dollars in these so margins are not as great but um still good margins and i've sold two of them and i do think i have a couple pair left i did buy all of the sizes the next item, oh my gosh, so stale, so stale, guys. <laughs> but you guys are going to learn that stale items sell eventually. You just have to find the right buyer. These were a mess. Um, and a mess, I mean that the tag said they were a size 28, 30, but they actually measured 30, 28. So some of them sold a little quicker. This one's been here a while. Three, I've sold three. I took a best offer of $7.50. I paid a dollar for them, made some money, happy to see them go. Yes, moving on. Uh, this Cacique swim skirt. I took a best offer of $15. I have a bunch of swim by Cacique items. I have like tankinis, tops, bottoms, separates. Um, yeah. So about three bucks in this, sold it for 15. They are new without tags. The, the tag is black lined like this and they do have the sanitary liner. The next item are these express tights. I had somebody ask me to do a bundle of three for $20 and one cent plus the $5 uh, discounted shipping that I give. And I picked these up at a discount store for about a buck each. These Chaps Cargo Big and Tall Pants, um, very old listing, but I picked up a whole bunch of these. I think I paid $3 for them. They sold for $17.60. The buyer paid shipping, and these did come from a discount store. 
And look at the difference. Flash, no flash. Eek. Um, and the reason I did that is because this picture was taken and then I lost my photos on eBay. Only had the main cover shot and I wanted to show the back. So that's why the pictures are different. So kind of a want want on my end, but I should have just redid the pictures completely. The next item is this three piece set. Um, it also comes with the baby doll. I have a bunch of different sizes available. I have sold 10. I do have more than one available. Um, the size I sold, um, I guess I probably only have one left. I don't know why it does that. But I sold this for $12.80, which is a fantastic deal for a three-piece set. And I've got probably about $4 in this, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Victoria's Secret bra, and I sold it for $14.52. And I have different sizes, oops, different sizes available, extra small, small, medium, and large. Super cute. It's got the little uh, cute lace detail on the back. And that's what it looks like. It's Victoria's Secret. And I have quite a few left. So if you're interested, come on over to my eBay store. And the buyer paid shipping on this. These boys shorts, size 3T. Um, they offered me 17, said they did not want the white pair, just the other three. And I just sold it for 17 and sent them all four pair. Um, Cacique Brawl. This is the Sophie the Allet. Allet. I, I don't know how to say that. Sophie the Allet. The Allet. <laughs> Makes me think of like the alley cat. But it's definitely not that. This sold for $19.80. This was a retail arbitrage online pickup. And I probably had six or seven dollars in this and sold it for $19.80. Buyer paid shipping. I've sold 11 And I have quite a few of these left also in different sizes, as you see here different cup sizes as you see here. So those are available. The next item I sold is this very old, very, very old, old swimsuit. I've had it for a very long time. I don't know why it didn't sell because I think it's super cute. It's like a dress, t uh, dress one piece. Super cute. I have one left. Um, I sold this for $17 and I want to say like I paid between 10 and 15 for it. So definitely, I thought it was going to be like a win. It's a $112 swimsuit and it's super cute. I don't know. I don't know what happened with that one, but happy to see it go. I made my money back, maybe a couple bucks. Happy to have my money back. This express button front shirt, about three bucks in this. I sold it for 15 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. And most of my items sell with best offer. So I do not get offended when people make me offers. Now, if they offer me like $5, that's kind of annoying. So I don't care for lowball offers, but nobody does. So all reasonable offers will be accepted. The next item is this lot of girls clothing, size 4 or 4T. Again, like I said, I pick items up, kids clothing up in bulk at garage sales and like I said, it usually sits for a little bit until I'm in the mood to sort it and list it. But usually get such a fantastic deal that it's totally worth the time. I sold this for $19.36 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is the, are these Lane Bryant crop plus size pants. Retail arbitrage, got it online, sold these for $28.60. Probably had about eight bucks in these um, after my coupons and the, the sale that they're having. And the buyer paid shipping. These Liz Lang maternity, super old listing. I don't want to say stale because they're still great items. Just for some reason, they haven't been picked up or maybe bumped high enough in the algorithm on eBay to get shown. I don't know. Pictures are on carpet, so you know it's old. I think I have two of these left. Uh, I want to say I paid a buck for these at a discount store. Sold these for $10, best offer, buyer paid shipping. These Hollister jean shorts were a garage sale find. I probably paid 50 cents or a buck for them. I took a best offer of $8. I just was okay with that. It's not an old listing. I don't know why I took eight. I must have just been like in the mood to just move some inventory. Um, so yeah, eight bucks plus shipping. The next item is this Ellen Tracy skirt. 
very old listing took a best offer of eight dollars i think i paid three for this so got my money back made a few bucks happy to see it go i still have one listed um the next item i sold is <laughs> super super old like five six seven maybe longer old so old I don't even know why I bought it. I think it was like a TJ Maxx buy and it was like on super clearance for like 50 cents or something crazy like that. So I was like, oh, I'll buy it. It's a 2XL. Somebody will buy it. It's new with tags. That is not always true, guys. This I've had forever, but somebody did buy it. And if I paid 50 cents for it and sold it for $6.50 plus shipping, I still did make a profit, but it sat for many, many, many years waiting on the right buyer. <laughs> the next item is this Victoria's Secret Brawl. Um, I sold this for $18.91 and the buyer paid shipping. It's super cute. I have about $3 in this and this is one of the items that I had somebody list for me. I only did that one time with a tote of Victoria's Secret items and I just paid one price and she listed all of them for me and then gave them back to me. She put them in my posh closet and then I cross posted them to eBay and Mercari. So I still, <clears throat> excuse me, I still had a lot of time in that. The next item is this uh, blah, 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 Lane Bryant tank top. Again, a retail arbitrage. I wanna say I had about four bucks in this and I sold it for $14.96 in the buyer paid shipping. The last item is this express skirt. I paid about $3 for it. It sold for best offer. 10 bucks. And yeah, I have tons of express skirts. If anybody's looking for express skirts, check out my store. As always, thank you for being here. This is my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. Check out my other videos. If you're new here, I'd love for you to, you know, come to my Bolo live show. That's every Wednesday night. Super fun. You can come and share a Bolo item. Good stuff. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday nights. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, what do you guys think about keeping items and not like doing inventory? What do you guys think? I mean, I have with all of my, um, what do you call it? Duplicates, um, like multi quantity listings, I probably have close to six, seven thousand items. So, to me, I'm not inventorying, like it'll sell eventually. I have the room, I have the space, so I'm just not worried about it. Comment below, let me know what you guys do. Do you inventory? Do you like donate stuff after so long? Do you clearance it out? Like, I don't even have time to do price drops. That's why, like, if somebody makes me a low ball offer and it's something I've had a long time, I just take it. That's how I do it. That's how I clear things out. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Have a great night, guys.